Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Hey guys, we are here in Tampa, Florida on a bio slash hoard. Uh, she has been gone for about two and a half months. Holy shit. Is the scalp still there? What is that? That it's like a nest. It is a nest. Hold on, hold it. Oh good god. I... Something made its what? what is that? There's a nest of bugs. They're nest. There's Those bugs, are bugs inside. Brother found out that she hadn't been uh, using her bank account, called to do a wellness check, and they found her in the middle of the hoard. So if you look around here, this is the living room. It's a one bedroom, one bath. Oh, fuck. Uh, Friday 12 of... This is 1297. 97 Shut here up. as well. Let right me there. see, let me see. Oh my God. June 30th, 2013. Oh my God. So milk from 97. Eggs from 13. Oh, oh my God. Hey guys, we are here in Tampa, Florida on a bio slash hoard. Uh, she has been gone for about two and a half months. Brother found out that she hadn't been uh, using her bank account, called to do a wellness check and they found her in the middle of the hoard. So if you look around here, this is the living room. It's a one bedroom, one bath. We're probably gonna be here two or three days. Um, if you guys want to follow along, I'll show you guys the rest of the place. So we have the bathroom in here. And then behind is where the bio is. The smell isn't terrible, but it has been completely undisturbed for nearly three months. Her scalp, her hair, she was found on the bed. That's the entire scalp. The only thing that they removed was the skeletal remains. And they couldn't identify her, so they had to do it via dental records. Um, good news is, is this training day for two of my brand new techs. So this is definitely an awesome way to break it in. My name's Fiona. Uh, I've been working part-time with Spalding for about seven, seven months now. Um, did a partial bio before. So this is my first actual bio. Um, first, first thoughts. To me, uh, I was amazed at the fact that there wasn't really a walkway with the horde. Usually there's some form of pathway, but there wasn't. Um, it's almost like they barricaded themselves in. Uh, Stench-wise, wasn't too bad for me, and I think that's because of the medical background. I have more of a tolerance for it. Curious on how, how it gets to this point. Uh, and it's, it's sad though, deep down. But uh, yeah, looking forward to doing it, see how it goes. My first recording job, or recording and bio. The smell, it's nauseating. Um, it's not too bad, but I'm pretty sure once we start digging into it, it's bound to get worse. There's no other way to put it besides extreme. There's no pathway, there's no place to sit. It's as if they were blocking themselves out from the world. So what's in the trash mainly um, that I've seen so far is food or um, trash for food. Um, a lot of printing pants. 
I have seen that, and uh, drink cups as well. On the bed, I had seen her head. Um, the people who had removed her skeleton had left that part. Um, other than that, the bed is sort of a bio mess, I would say. It's spread out across the whole bed. Because I'm so new working this particular job, it's really opening my eyes to what we really do. But I do know deep down we are still helping and it, it still means something it, to someone somewhere. Oh yeah! Oh, take that load, Fiona. It's been a while. It's been a while. Super glue, ba ba ba. She's going down. We're yelling Santa. Why are we waiting? We could be masturbating. All over that face. Facial. Girl, don't even give us all of it. Ow. No one is getting lunch on this crew because there's plenty of Pringles and saltines to go around. They're all empty. Doesn't matter. So we don't have anything donatable. We don't have anything edible. We don't have anything worth keeping or selling or the client's brother doesn't want anything. Nothing. Everything has to go. Uh, we did just discover a refrigerator behind the door. Um, it was buried by saltines. But yeah, I've been living in this for almost two years. And now her toilet's running with the flapper in the back. Did you know to, that you were living below a hoarder? No, I did not. She did. This is the second time in 12 years that she's done damage to me. But her dad was willing to pay for the first time. But now her brother backed out of all of this. What was and, the first time that the dad? Uh, she did toilet too, but I got uh, dry, I got waterproof drywall in it at about eight or nine years ago. Have yeah. you been inside the unit upstairs? Oh yeah, I did a long time ago, but not recently. I don't. No, I had cancer 11 years ago when all this mold and stuff was going around and so I had to get help with it at that time too. Would you like to take a peek inside to see what you've been living beneath? Yes, I would. Okay. This is what I put up with for 12 solid years. Oh no, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. She's done $1,200 worth of damage downstairs in my unit. Did you know it was this bad? No, no. no take no. a look that way. We've already cleared out about 15 garbage bags. I feel so sorry for you guys. We're here to help you. Like, that's what we are here for. We're here to help make your life a little better. Well, I just don't, I can't afford to move. Right, well, I don't, you don't need to now. You I don't have to now. Yeah, okay. this will be clean. Thank you guys We're gonna make so sure much. That this is taken care of. Did so you know that she was dead in here for a couple months before anyone found her? Nope. You didn't? No, ma'am. Okay. Mm -mm. I'm sorry to cry, but I'm just no, over it. I, I own my unit and I don't work, drive, I walk to work. The first damage that she did was 11, 12 years ago. And I, had, I was diagnosed with breast cancer when all that was going on. Oh. And I was out six months with it. And she, I confronted her two years ago, like I told her on camera. She refused to help me. She told me it wasn't her fault. It was the, it was, um, the association's problem. Yeah, I did not know she had been in here two months dead. Yeah. They told me they weren't. And that's what I kept smelling something when I turned my heat on, but I didn't think anything of it. And I kept, and her brother wouldn't do anything to help me. He kept backing out of it. He said, well, I don't have a power of attorney. See, I had German Roach problem about five, six years ago, and I had to call and they reimbursed me. I had it in my coffee pot. I had it in my toaster. I, I still can't leave food on my refrigerator in my house because I have like fruit flies flying around. I have two cats also. And if I had to leave and board, because I'm gonna have, to, my whole bathroom's gonna have to be tore out because she's got a picture of my ceiling. But yeah, I did not know it was this bad. Have you seen the way the kitchen looks? No. Okay. Do I really want <laughs> Oh God. I would have never pictured this in a, in a million years. And she doesn't, she never did laundry. She never showered. She never um, could temp, dump garbage, you, well, you can see. Yeah, she was pooping and peeing outside because she could with all the trash in her house. And then plus she was bathing in the swimming pool and they have pictures of it on camera. At, um, and the people, some of the people in the complex, other complexes reported it to Evelyn in the office. Yeah, I mean, if you need a microwave, we just found 12. <laughs> I'm so glad it's tile. What's that? They're size 11 in women. Yeah, still fit. Hell yeah. Watch me show up to work in these. You're welcome. 
Amazing! Don't touch my boots. I need a Gucci belt to go around my tie backs. Kyle, oh, it's almost raisins. Almost raisins. Fill the wall, girl. Fill the wall. <laughs> we always play this game. How much would it take? Okay. So, it always goes, depending on the situation for the house. Fiona, how much would it take for you to sleep on the uncovered bio mattress? Like on the dirty part of the mattress? Anywhere on the mattress. Next to it, like no. next to the bio, on the bio, like just like on the is? mattress as is. Oh. Let's go, girl. It is gonna be up there. At least like 500k cash. That's it? At least. For one night? One night. Eight, Eight hours. hours. Sleep on the clean side. There is no clean side. Clean. Not the saturated side. Nick? Yeah. So sleep on it, completely uncovered, unsuited everything, right? Oh, yeah. Ooh. I mean, I'll let you sleep with a respirator on. At least. That's it. Uh, I don't think I would. I don't think there's no. Really? Yeah. Two mil without a respirator. You just have to take it up a notch. Yeah. With the boots on? The pink ones? Only wearing my pink boots, my underwear, and a respirator. No underwear. Nude with my boots and a respirator? All right. Two and a half mil. Yeah. That'd make a hot porn. <laughs> oh, that's different. Because it looks like it's just everywhere, but they actually do pile. Like, it's very strategically There's like, like some OCD going that's on. That's one of the reasons I think it actually got put into that category of a, as a type of OCD. Because there's actually like a Because there's a strategic it. way yeah. that they work. Well, the right? way they like section it, like the Pringles and the salt are here, and like everything else is here. Like right. the way they do it. Is like the jars are here, jugs in the middle, Saltines. cups on the on the coffee table, saltines and Pringles. And all over the here. cups were upright. All the cups were upright, stacked neatly. Even like on top of the fridge, they're just like. <laughs> I think that was Nick. I don't do dolls. Why not? Oh, no. Initiation process. So I know when you guys absolutely love <laughs> when I open the refrigerator. Today, since this is Nick's very first hoard and very first bio, we are having him open the refrigerator and explain what is in there that he sees. Mm. You're welcome. I do it every job. I'm passing the torch on to you. Well, thank you. You're welcome. May God be with you, my child. Oh. Mm. Fiona, passing the torch on. Time to empty the refrigerator and the freezer. Oh, oh fuck. All right, then. Ugh. We've all had to do it. Uh, Friday, 12 of... This is 1297. 97 Shut years up. well. Let me <laughs> see, let me see. Oh my God. Where's yours? Right there. 1220, oh, or uh, 1297. Oh boy. Look at that. The that we're working with. Gross. Oh. Do you want some water? No, but I'd like some water. Oh my god. <laughs> Good job over there, Big Ben. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's falling apart. Is there a, a, a date there on a there? Date? Yeah. June 30th, 2013. Oh my god. So milk from 97, eggs from 13. Oh my god, this is delicious. I'm not gonna have all my time for it. Hey, Fiona. Do you have any hair? Any hair? <laughs> oh my god, I've always wanted hair. I was fine with hair until... I was fine with hair until I started working for this job and I lost it all.
I love how the camera girl is doing faces and then putting stuff in the back. <laughs> Hey, have you found a plunger? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. I thought you were sitting on it. No, baby, no. I pulled it out when you bent over. <laughs> oh, yes! Wow, it smells really fabric-y down the there. The smells fabulous. Oh my god, that it does! <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to empty those down the drain? Oh my god, was that comment like old school comment from Mommy Dearest? No wire hangers! Oh my god, petroleum <laughs> jelly. That makes two. B, I found petroleum jelly for you. You want your bread? I got your bread. I'm going in! It's older than Betty White. Betty White is actually older than sliced bread. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I wish I fit in those. I'm just kidding, I don't wear heels. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh. Holy shit. Oh. It's stuck. Is the scalp still there? Open it up. Oh. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Baby, baby, when you're done, those have those gloves have to go in the bio bin because you've got to put the other ones on. Appreciate it. I what think, is that? I think it's the hair roots. What is that? That it's like a nest. It is a nest. Hold on, hold it. Oh, good God! Um, Something made its. Look. Those are maggots. Those aren't maggots. Yeah, they are. What the fuck? That's why they left the hat. Like this is like, what is it? What does it feel Crunchy. like? Crunchy. Describe, describe it. What is that? Those are nest of bugs. They're nest. There's those bugs, are bugs inside. Look at them inside. Look on my hand. Crack one open. Those are like, those remind me of like TT flies. No, you know what this is? Okay. These are flesh eating bugs. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Where they like burrow into the skin. Yep. That's what those are. Is it alive? No. But there's one on there walking yeah. around right there. That's exactly what those are. No, that's a fly. There's a dead fly. That is a what? nest. See? It's a nest of Listen. maggots. Like that was so, uh, we just discovered like an entire new species on a job where they've, I just rubbed my eyebrows off, cocooned inside her scalp and the like I'm not okay at the moment because that kind of stuff like is I'm just kind of I'm plexed super super plexed at the moment I don't even my peanut butter and jelly sandwich is not even the least bit this is the only job I've never thought about food on I had no idea what to expect definitely didn't think it was gonna be like that crusty sound or that they would be like cocoons with bugs. I was not at least like live bugs, but not not that. <laughs> it's like gross, but in like a fascinating way. Uh, but yeah, I'm like I'm glad I picked it up. To be honest with you. For our first bio, that's something I didn't expect to encounter. It, the the matting of the hair is not something I expected to see. I knew that it was there, but I didn't expect the crunch, the bugs, or the nest of anything like that. That's just strange. I am so glad that I am training today and not diving in on that. <laughs> not, no, not today, Sadie, not today. It's bad, yeah, it's bad. All right. 
four hours into it. And here we are. So we got some of the trash. We still got the decomp to handle. And you can even see the walls. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh my God. You're welcome. We let you know that this could be dangerous. <laughs> Ow, my finger just pinched. You just sounded so gay. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's bread in me. Ow, Charlie. <laughs> I'm done living today. Like, how do you pull it and the whole fucking thing comes off? <laughs> this is... This is how I'm gonna like it. Oh. Yeah, half and half, yeah. Oh my god. I'm crying, I'm laughing for it. Where'd the other half go? Fiona went to grab the chair to lift it and the whole fucking top came on. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't have a good sense of humor. Yeah, it's like, you're like, you're like, you're and I'm stuck. I'm coming down the other way. With Harry. <laughs> Bio bin. I need a safety harness and I strap me to you. <laughs> no, I'm not going with you. <laughs> Do you have this? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, guys. Unlike Harry Potter, I forgot my wand. Tinko ate my baby! <laughs> Tinko almost ate me. <laughs> no, baby, that's gravity. <laughs> <laughs> Told you not to eat all that rice. Tell Nick to block it. Nick's not there. Oh, it's that's not good. It. <laughs> it's not good at all. <laughs> <We're> Crikey! <laughs> Fucking Nick! <laughs> Bloody hell, Nick! Say you. Oh, Nick! <laughs> I'm lifting. <laughs> <laughs> so glad I'm here. Mm. Ew. 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 You have one cushion. I already threw one, thank you very much. I threw two already. Plus the towel, the shield. <laughs> I leveled up. <laughs> I leveled up. I Nick! Mm. <gasps> okay. One. Toss hard. Two. <gasps> oh my god. Yo, that, that was good. intense. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the couch flex. Satisfying. Please be extremely careful with that knife. slow so not to fling anything. There you go. There awesome. you go. See?
perfect. Not on us. Yeah. Tap out. Yeah. Okay. How do you feel? Like breathing through a straw. It's rough, right? But it's a hot straw. Yeah. How do you feel? It's a Florida straw. I'm good. I'm good. two of the Horde biome. Uh, we've discovered several things that kind of threw us through the hoop, uh, through a hoop, not the hoop. <laughs> so Fiona's actually gonna go in to explain this because I think she was really the first one to actually discover, discover. I just found all the other missing puzzle pieces and was like, yo! Uh, there was just a lot of things that didn't quite add up. Um, what, first we found all the wigs? We did, we found tons of wigs. So actually what we found yesterday was a wig um, with skin attached to it. It was not actually her hair, which is good because it was one of those things that why would the ME leave that behind? And so that was a big no-no for us to begin with. Um, so that was a wig as well as probably six or seven others yep. that we had found. Um. So that was unique. Um, to say the least. Cleaning out all the toiletries. Uh, that was... That was kind of like neutral. Badly stuff. Yeah. Um, like all the fragrances was kind of neutral. Nothing leaned one way or another. Yeah. Um, but also there was no like feminine products. No feminine hygiene products. Like at products. all. There was no... Uh, there were actually no... No bras. Um, no regular bras. No regular bras. Only it was sports. all super, super sports bras. The shoes were, I mean, I can't even say they're my size because I have tiny, like, feet and I walk on stubs, but... We're the same size. Oh, we, if Fee and I are the same size. So, size 8 in men's. Um, Don't judge. So, yeah, the, the shoe size, what, like a 10, 11? Between 10 and 11, yeah. And half, um, like, most of the shoes are kind of men, other than, like, the heels. But the heels match the size of the, of the, um, the sneakers. So, all in all, uh, oh, and we found a giant, giant adult novelty. And this is no exaggeration. I'm sure there's a picture floating around the internet right now with me. Um, <laughs> Fee's agreeing because she yes. took the photo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, then there was the mail. Oh yeah, two different names. But kind of the same name. Um, but you can see like with the dates, like older back, it was male. And then more recent, it was female. And then we found the inserts. And yeah, we found the breast inserts. We found the photos of brothers. So then we found like family photos, like growing up, uh, mom, dad, and two, two sons. Yeah. In all the photos. It's kind of shocking that this whole time we oh, thought we were cleaning. And then the cleaning. journal entries. Oh, the journal entries too, yeah. Um, back in kindergarten is when she started liking boys. Uh, so this whole time we were cleaning out what we thought was a diva. Um, super into shoes, super into purses, makeup. things like that. The makeup, we, the gal makeup galore that we found. All to find out that we were actually cleaning out Most transgender. Male to female. Yeah, FTM? Or is that just a porn term? MTF. 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 Oh, FTM. MTF. So... <laughs> so yeah, plot twist with that one. Yeah, mind blown. Poof. Yeah. Uh, now us Mo's are going to get back to finishing cleaning out her apartment. Even bigger plot, twi plot twist. We turned around, Laura and I came out and bid the job. And we're like, oh yeah, you know, two days, you know, one dump trailer. Yeah, no, um, wrong. We are officially 90% full on our dump trailer 
on day two, which is our second trailer. The closet is covered in mold. The bedroom is uneven. The building is ridden with termites. It has taken three of us two full days to clean out a 600 square foot apartment. Yeah. Do you guys want to take a look at the closet? Because. And if you look down below, you'll see more mold. And if you look up on the other side, the ceiling is actually collapsing in. So we were quite terrified to see if something was going to jump out, like Pennywise or something. Fiona's terrified of dolls. She's Which, absolutely terrified of dolls. There was quite a few dolls in here. One I threw at her and she yep. wasn't paying attention. Take your right chest. Um, our plans are to light a match and burn this thing down to the ground. So add a little bit of sage? Yeah, sage. Um, I did holy water the place. I found holy water. So I did the whole thing. Um, included Fiona in on that because yeah. she needed to find a little Jesus today. She's thinking yeah. way too much of her girlfriend. <laughs> um, so the bathroom, we're just going to close the door because I don't want to look at it anymore. But I'll take you guys to see it before I shut the door and that's where actually the gasoline is already poured. So if you look in here, we did clean out the cabinetry, um, but we're gonna have a contractor come in and remove all of this kind of stuff. The sink's actually dry rotted. Yeah, I went to pee in the sink and you know, that was a joke. No, it wasn't. So that's pretty much the extent of it. It's taken us two days. Uh, that was including removing the biohazard out of here as well. Um, we have the refrigerator and the stove to get out of here, and then tomorrow is going to be a deep clean day, which is, I've already contacted the client, and it's going to be the walls and the floors because the bathroom is going to be gutted and the kitchen is going to be gutted, so we're good to go. How did you get a towel done? <laughs> Ready? I was squished by a Turkey and tilapia. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be the new YouTube series. Turkey and tilapia. Ew, bump. Double T. Oh, there's tilapia in this fridge? Yes. Yeah. Oh, good God. And turkey. God. In the freezer. Oh. Bump. Pivot. Pivot. Only one floor, more floor to go, guys. Bump. Oh, this is easy for now. Oh. Yeah, so we're going to just pull it out. We're going to shove it down. <laughs> Bump. <laughs> Bump. Oh, God, it's like dropping on me. Good thing we have one man working the job. Bump. I hate her. <laughs> Be That's careful, insane. ladies. Nick's got, Nick's got it. <laughs> Bump. I'm being still. <laughs> Be careful, ladies. <laughs> oh, my God, I almost missed that whole step. How does it feel to be only a man on the job? Pretty interesting. Yeah. I fucking hate her. Oh yes. Very I interesting. Know why I like her going. Nick, do you need this much moral support? It's helpful. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. That's it, guys. On to the next.